Hello there, good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. So on this video, I'm gonna teach you how to create a full movie from a single prompt. Of course, this is gonna be for free. Anyway, with this one, I'm currently inside this website. We're gonna utilize this AI to proceed on this tutorial. It's gonna be called Noise or Noisy, something like that. Please correct me if I'm wrong, by the way. So this is gonna be the sample videos you're gonna see on the screen right now. And with that being said, simply click on this yellow button right there to proceed on their channel. So once you click that yellow button, you're going to be proceeded here. Let's just first go on the announcement section. So with this one, it has a very or fairly new AI. And by the way, guys, since it started, I think before they don't have an edit option where you can edit your output or your video. But for now, they have just edited. For example, this one right here, as you can see, Noise website editor is now available online. But for this part, we're going to discuss it entirely on a different video. For now, we're going to focus on generating the outputs on this Discord server. So it's going to have a few options here. For example, we're going to have the generate MV. We have the clip there. So we're going to use the list these two channels. A difference from the two is MV is movie or something like that. And we can create a trailer here for a movie trailer. And the clip is basically text to video. No, nothing or nothing special about that. So with this one, I'm going to utilize my own channel or my own server. With this one, I have embedded or add in this, um, the AI noise in here. And how to do that is basically I have invited it inside it. For example, as you can see right here, I have noise right there. I also have mid journey. Those two bots right there are inside my server. And I have a video about that on how to add them. So please check them out. So let's get started here. The first thing we want to need is a song. Because as you can see here, I have a link that is going to be very important or crucial in generating these kinds of images or of videos. We're going to get it on this website. So it's going to be called Suno AI. And this is the landing page of Suno. Basically, it's text to song or text to soundtrack. And with that being said, I have a sample soundtrack here that I have created from scratch. It's from only a single um, prompt, for example, a groovy background song. And just simply type in or click on create. It will create for you two samples. And if it's finished, you can just copy the link on this option. As you can see right there, it's copy song link. But for this one, I'm going to utilize this two, one of each or each one of them. I'm going to click copy song link there, for example, and I'm going to paste it on my notepad. So as you can see, I have some pulse here prompts in my notepad because this is very important. I'm going to show you why later on, by the way. So I'm just going to type in here a music URL, paste it right here. And now I'm going to go back on this card. So let's get started. The first thing you want to do is, of course, create a movie trailer. And the command for that is imagine. As you can see, I have two options here because I have mid journey. Make sure I'm going to choose this one. And with that being said, it's asking for a URL or the MP3 URL. And that comes in handy with the notepad. I can just simply copy it here. Or you can, since it's copying on your clipboard, you can do so. But for now, I'm going to paste it right there. Click on enter. So after clicking enter of the URL, you'll see this two options or rather three, including the aspect ratio. So the first bar or the first space right here describes the visuals to match your music. So on that being said, clear as a statement, this describe your video or the music that you use. So since the one I choose is about melancholy or sad piano, I prepared a prompt here with that exact um, description. So I'm just going to paste it right there. As you can see right here, a lone figure plays a grand piano and there is Tari Knight flashbacks of a beautiful past memories cinematic video basically it's just a very simple prompt the only one that differs from here is you'll notice this very important command it's the less uh, angular sign zero zero colon zero zero and another zero zero colon three zero this is just a timestamp if you're familiar with youtube videos or any other videos it has timestamps same goes with sounds or music so this is going to be important because we're going to cut or we're going to specify the 30 second mark of the soundtrack. 
you can put here 45 you can put 20 but for now i think the limit for noise is one minute or 60 seconds so again guys that will be 30 seconds for my end by my own preference so this is gonna be the discord link so image reference for video style this is optional though but for now i want to use it to show you how it works so i'm gonna pull up my notepad right there as you can see i have an image link i'm gonna tell you where i got it by the way so let me just copy it very quickly here give me a second here just to making sure it's copied properly paste it here and then click on paste now aspect ratio i'm gonna retain 16 by 9 click on submit now so welcome back to the video here's our result as you can see, it is a very lone figure playing a grand piano. Let me just enable my audio capture so you can listen to it. I'm gonna make it full screen and play it right now. So as you can see right there, it's a very good movie trailer, right? Now, if I hover my mouse and bring it back here, as you can see, it has a references or characteristic that copies our reference image. It's not really identical, but we have it right there. So after watching the first one, I'm going to teach you now or use a different example that there would be no timestamp. So I'll show you the difference, okay? So imagine right there, I'm just going to copy my URL for the music. Same process, guys. So with that being said, this is going to be our new one. This is going to be our prompt. So make a movie trailer of a fantasy ran B roles um, natural creatures. And then with that being said, group of people in fantasy cinematic movie. And that's it. I'm not going to use the special prompt or the important prompt of timestamp. I'm not really going to use that. Again, I'm going to use going to be this one, the image link, copy and paste it like there. Again, there is no timestamp there. So I click on submit right now and I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. Right now we have this example or final output. Let me just enable my audio capture so you can listen to it. So I'm going to play right now, make it full screen. You see right there the difference between using a timestamp and no. So the only difference with that is there is no really highlight regarding your prompt. But if you go back here, we have ladies or women referencing our reference image. As you can see right there, we have one more here. Pretty awesome, right? And that is the power of reference images. So now we're done with the movie trailers. Let's try text to video right now. By the way, guys, before I proceed with that, I want to share on how to enable this ones. Since I'm currently on my personal server, I'm going to go back on the noise server right there. So this part right here, the movie trailers part is this is the server or channel. If you want to proceed on the text to video, make sure you on, go on general clip and this is going to be it. They're two entirely different channels, okay? With that being said, I'm going to go back now on my tutorials box server or my own personal server. Because in here, I don't have to switch channels. I can just simply type in the command for the clip and simply use it here. 
So it's really fun to have your own personal server inside your bot or your bot inside your personal server to save time and then there is no overlapping of the requests. Anyway, enough with that. Let's try this one. I'm going to type in clip now. Now there is no URL here. There is no um music. So I'm just simply clicking on enter. And with that, this is going to be our prompt now. Let me just go on my notepad. Now we have two prompts prepared for this. I'm going to use this, a cinematic shot of a Viking woman. Paste it right there. Of course, we cannot forget our image link. Paste it right there. And then paste it right here. Simply click on submit. And I'll get back to you once it's here. So welcome back to the video. Right now, this is going to be a result. And without playing, you'll see the reference right now. We have the nose, we have the eyes. The hair did not really come through, but everything here is similar with the reference image. If I play it right now, there will be no sound, but it's just moving. It's basically text a video. And that being said, let's try one more. I'm going to type in here, clip, like so. Simply click on enter one more time. And then I'm going to use the exact image again. And with the prompt for now, it will be a little bit different. I'm going to use this one, a Viking woman standing, smoke in the background. And with that, simply click on submit. So welcome back to the video. Right now, here's going to be our new image. It's pretty similar from the first one from earlier, especially the woman views. And there's going to be our fire and smoke on the background. Pretty awesome, right? Let me just play it one more time for discussion purposes. So with that being said, please check this out. It's a new one. It's a new AI and it's pretty good guys. Again, just want to highlight, don't forget this very important prompt or the timestamp to give you fully natural um, output. With that being said, thank you so much for watching. Please hit the like button, subscribe. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Goodbye for now.